Okay, chapter started. Yeah, uh, I'll start. Uh, good morning, everyone. I don't see good any. Mornings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, sorry for the hiccup today. Uh, we just uh, we couldn't be able to open the Zoom meeting on time. So we, we were late a bit. Let's get uh, started. Good morning and good evening to everyone. And welcome to another meeting of Sattvic Toastmasters Club for Healthy Living. I, Toastmaster Sudhir, the sergeant at arms for today's meeting. The mission of the Toastmasters Club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. In order to have a smooth meeting, here are some ground rules. Speakers are requested to refrain from making any references to politics, sex, or religion in their speeches. Please put yourself on mute when not speaking. Don't interrupt when someone is speaking. Be attentive throughout the meeting. And now I invite our uh, President Team Runda to give her opening address. Let's have Good a great morning. Meeting. Excellent. Thank you, Toastmaster Sudhir. Greetings. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And welcome to all our esteemed guests, Toastmasters, and visiting Toastmasters. Uh, thank you for attending this exciting meeting for today. Uh, today's meeting is unique in Sattvic Toastmasters. The reason it is unique is because all our other meetings are uh, having something special. So either we have an education session or we have a visiting uh, doctor or an experienced health expert talking about a topic. And today's is a model or a regular Toastmasters meeting, which is rare in Sattvic. So it is a regular Toastmasters meeting where we have an interesting lineup, an interesting theme uh, that's been designed by Toastmaster Shahid, our VP Education, as well as uh, uh, interesting speeches lined up. So this is an ideal meeting from the beginning to the end. And all those of you who are looking to figure out what Toastmasters meeting looks like, this is a model meeting. So hope you all enjoy and uh, uh, keep coming back out here. Uh, we will do a round of feedback afterwards. And with that said, let me now hand over the mic to Toastmaster Shahid, uh, who is the Toastmaster of the day today. Over to you, Shahid. Yeah. Uh, from the beginning, I have been called as a Shahid. Okay. Few months back, I'm called as a guest Shahid. Now, I am Toastmaster Shahid. So in the future, I will be having a good title before my name. So this tells how the Toastmaster platform has changed my profile. This happened because I have just heard about the platform Toastmasters and I acted upon it and I am getting the results. So here comes our today's theme, who acts gets. Dear Madam Speaker, dear Madam President, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear guests, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to at another session on the Sattvic Toastmasters for Healthy Living. So today our theme is who acts gets. So when I when I say this theme. The first thing which I trigger in my mind is proactive. So what is proactive? Proactive is the person who is doing some useful actions to achieve their goals. Why do we need to act upon to achieve our goals? Let's consider in the, our uh, previous meeting, our theme is goal setting. 
that was the first meeting in this 2024 january so as it is a january everyone have their aspirations to set goals we will be let's say we have set some goals and we have written them in a nice paper and we stick on a wall where we can daily see but what we are doing is we are just sticking there we are not acting upon them what is the use of it a goal without a plan is just a wish if you have a wish you could not achieve anything so in continuation to that uh, last meeting we should act on those goals then only we will achieve and then only we will reach our goals as we are discussing these things one small story came into my mind the story of a ant and the grasshopper once there was a grasshopper he was leading a luxurious and a joyful life eating whatever it wish and going wherever he wants is just living like as a king his own life once grasshopper was doing a sunbathing there was a ant passing near by him by pulling some piece of bread then that grasshopper asked that ant hey brother what are you doing then that ant said the winter is supposed to come so i am doing some work to collect the fur so then the grasshopper just gave a glance like what this ant is doing it's a stupid it's not enjoying the life it's simply putting its effort on useless things he was keep on uh, telling the same to the ant but ant did not care and it continued and as the days passed the grasshopper was keep on enjoying and the ant was doing hard work with its teammates one day came the winter season has been started and the grasshopper is did not collected any food with with proactiveness and the ant which worked hard it has enough food to survive then in that winter grasshopper started looking for food he could not get any food because everything was covered with ice so finally he is uh, he is with hungry he is left with hungry and finally he died also what is the moral we can get from here is like see the ant is very small it know its strengths what it has to do he has taken his teammates help and he has a vision what it is going to face in the future so these are the things which has made ant in a good position and grasshopper is in opposite to that so without further ado let's we just uh, let's start our meeting format shahid sorry to interrupt uh, can you give uh, host rights to arav as well as sudhir and me and there are some people in the waiting room yeah i have actually made sudhir as co-host no no i am the arunda uh, i am the co-host actually i disabled the waiting room for some time arunda you want me to make you co-host i can make you can continue with this yep okay so thank you okay let me explain the program for today for the benefit of the guests we have two sessions in our current meeting one is the prepared speeches where the speaker will be aware uh, will be coming with the some speech objectives they will be prepared and they will be deliberating there will be an evaluator who will be looking after his speech and he, they will provide the respective feedback and the second portion of our meeting is impromptu speaking impromptu speaking is nothing but speaking on the spot without any preparation whatever you comes to your mind you should have to speak on that particular topic so let me introduce the role players for today so to drive our meeting we have our tag team 
So to keep track of the time, we have a Engen energetic person, Toastmaster Aro. Toastmaster Aro, could you please explain your role? Hello, good morning. Uh, am I audible? Yes. So very good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. My name is Arav and I am the time effector. What is the role of the timer? It's to keep the track of everything, to be honest, like your speeches, your evaluations, your impromptu speeches. And I'll be giving my report at the end of the meeting when I'll be called upon. Let me give you an example. Here is my cover page. Uh, once you reach the boundary line, what do you say? It's qualifying right on the prepared speeches side i'll say it's two minutes no it's five to seven minutes i'm sorry five to seven minutes so at five minutes i'll be showing you the green card at six minutes i'll be showing you the yellow card and at seven minutes i'll be showing you the red card grace period of 30 seconds will be given on each side so or uh, talking about impromptu speeches it's one to two minutes Green card at one minute, one minute, 30 seconds, yellow card, two minutes, red card. For evaluations, it's two to three minutes, two minutes, green card, two minute, 30 second, yellow card, and three minutes, red card. That's all. Over to you, TMOD. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Arab. And to keep track of our pauses or filler words, we have a role called our counter. And one more role as a grammarian, which is our English teacher. These two roles today taken by our Toastmaster Chandra. Toastmaster Chandra, could you explain your role? Thank you, Toastmaster Shahid. Good morning, everyone. I'll be the our counter and grammarian for today's meeting. Firstly, I'll explain what I'll be doing as an accounter. As an accounter, I'll be noting down all the crutch words which will be used during the course of the meeting. Some of them can be the filler words as well, such as I, this means, and I'll be presenting my report at the end. This will be helping you to ensure while we are talking part of our speeches to avoid all the additional words or we also call it as crutch words. That will be what I'll be taking care of as an accounter. I encourage you all to be deliberately making an attempt not to use the unnecessary words. Now, as a grammarian, my role will be to observe all the speakers and increase my listening skills carefully. I'll be also noting down the language usage, whoever is talking on the virtual stage. All the good usages, not so good usages, I will note down. Also, apart from that, as a grammarian, my role is to introduce the word of the day and the idiom of the day. The word of the day today is endeavor. Endeavor meaning an attempt to achieve a goal. The usage can be, thanks to all of you who support me in my speech endeavors. And the idiom of the day, go the extra mile. Go the extra mile, meaning make a special effort to achieve something. Example of the usage for this can be, Lisa is a good person, always ready to go an extra mile for kidney patients. So I encourage you all to use the word of the day as well as the idiom of the day and enrich your English language. That's all. I'll be presenting my report whenever called upon by the general evaluator. So today it is the team OD who is playing both the roles. So back to you, Toastmaster Shahid. Yeah, thank you, Chandra. And... Uh... Please post the word of the day in the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, name of the day in the chat. Yeah. So everyone, please do use while you are during your speeches in the table topics sessions. So, so now let me call upon the role which evaluates the whole meeting, but no one evaluates that role. That is role none other than a general evaluator. Today we have beautiful person. Toastmaster Vrunda Shashikumar for the general evaluator. So Vrunda, could you please explain your role? Greetings everyone again. So today I am also the general evaluator for the day. Uh, the purpose of the general evaluator 
is to evaluate everything that takes place throughout the meeting right from the start till the end during the meeting i will take notes on everything that happens and that does not happen too i will evaluate each participant on the meeting program and look for good examples of preparation organization delivery enthusiasm observation and performance of duties at the end of the meeting i will give my report thank you toastmaster of the day shahid and back to you yeah thank you general evaluator runda and uh, i have a just uh, small request kind of thing like uh, lisa hello lisa yes yeah, actually our evaluator did not I'm want you to uh, sorry i am on zoom okay so okay. leave me alone please not saying anything oh my god i'm so sorry i've got noise in my background thank you um what do you <laughs> mean uh, we're just thinking like you were saying to us we are on june don't oh, disturb no. <laughs> sorry. okay yeah actually uh, we have a impromptu evaluation role could you please able to take that sure yeah now we have a prepared right. speech from our uh, toastmaster pratik so after that could you please take it upon oh that would be great yeah um can somebody else introduce him and does he need a written eval uh, uh, pardon me doing a written eval is going to be tough from the middle of the ocean um but i i can do it when i get back I think a verbal one is fine for now. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fronte. And um, if if somebody wants to um do his project descriptions, that would be fine. Yeah, I will do it, uh, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Without any further ado, we will just deep dive into our uh, today's meeting with a lot of endeavors. And today we have a prepared speech from our Toastmaster Pratik. Pratik is attempting the level three, uh, level level three speech, focus on positive thinking, and his speech title is "Be the Change." Be the change, Pratik. Pratik, be the change. Uh, am I audible and visible? Yes. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. Taking positive actions based on our feelings and emotions is very important to bring positive change in our life and the life of others. It is said that a reader live, lives a thousand lives before he dies. Let me tell you something about me about reading part. Two years back, I used, I never used to read any books other than my course material. In last two years, I read two books. And in last two months, I read one book. The book which I read in last two months was this. It is Energize Your Mind, which was written by Gaur Gopal Das. So what I learned from that book, as per that book, it is for mastering your thoughts and emotions so that you can put that into actions. I will just tell you some topics about it. What, what was it? It was about me and my mind, me and the minds of others, universe and my mind. Such are the topics which are written in that book. Now, you, you might be wondering why I'm telling you all these things and what is in it. So after reading 250 pages of that book, I come to know a very interesting thing. After reading 250 pages, I found that almost 8 to 10 pages were left blank. Now, might be there was a printing mistake or maybe it is intentionally kept blank. So there were two thoughts which came to my mind. 
first, which is a little negative one, that, oh, I missed the opportunity to read some interesting points which was not printed in this book. And the second, I think God has given me an opportunity to write something which I have read over a period of almost two months. So I started writing, I started reflecting and writing on those eight blank pages. To my surprise, those eight pages were less for me and I was having many thoughts, but I have to close that in those eight pages. Whatever reflections which I had in that from that book, I have written in those pages and I have shared with my fitness coach, health coach and my, my near and dear ones. And to my surprise, again, they have seen a great change in myself and also they got something from it. So the important thing is we can take the things in a positive way rather than taking little negative side of it. You might have heard of a simple rule, which is 99 and 1 rule, which is there in social media. That rule says there are 90% of the people who go to the internet, they get whatever do they want to get from that content and they just forget about it. There are 9% of the people who actually go to that content, they give feedback, they give review, they edit that content and contribute in some way to that content. And there are only 1% of the people who actually are creating this whole content. After reading and writing on those eight blank pages, I found that I was almost going to that 9% who are little bit contributing towards the good of the society and for ourselves. So at least I'm better than before. Now let me give you some one more story of the same thing in which my thoughts and feelings has impacted on my life and the life of others. We generally get invitations for different birthday parties, marriage parties, or marriage anniversaries, and so many different things. Similar thing happened with me last month. I got an invitation for 40th marriage anniversary of my in-laws. I was also thinking what to give based on the connection between their and my, mine. So along with the gift, I just thought of something different. What I thought and what I felt about them, I thought of putting it into words and in the form of songs. So I have prepared situational based songs, means whatever situations they have faced or gone through in their period of 40 years of togetherness, I tried to, you know, sum up. And one of the songs I will sing, you know, which, which make which I feel about them, are they are like that. There are many problems which come into our lives and how we face it. And it is a Hindi song. I sang for them like that. Kisi ki muskurahaton pe ho nisar Kisi ka dard mil sake to le udhar Kisi ke vasate ho tere dil me pyaar Jeena aisi ka naam hai when you are of your age, uh, like almost 60, 70 plus, there are many problems which you face in your life. And there are many pains which you take to create the life of others. And this is what I felt about them. And that's why I, song, I sang such song. My point over here is, there are many thoughts. There are many emotions. There are many things which comes into our mind. We think about many things, we feel about many things, but sometimes we forget to take actions on it. It's important to act, act on what we feel, what we, what we feel from inside. So my point here is, if you are thinking something about it, if you are feeling something about whatever you have planned for your life, it's the time to act on it. God will give you the opportunities in the form of pains, but you have to take that in the form of opportunities and convert those thoughts and feelings into actions. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Pratik. That was a very good and very excellent speech. And you have gone an extra mile with your uh, song as well. Thanks for that. And your voice is so soothing to listen. 
and yeah thank you yeah as our speech was also is very much in line with our theme we should act on the things then only we will get so let's see how he has acted upon an anniversary and he has made one action of choosing one song and giving to them that will be a memory for them so like that in our own selves also if we act we will get definitely good and awesome results so let me just share a one thing let's say i have a, a book called how to learn swimming in one week let's say i have completed it book successfully without leaving a single page from first page to the addendum i have completed it successfully but after one after completing that book and i did not went to swimming pool can you say i know swimming no right that is not a practical thing similarly you just have the things until you act upon them those will not be achieved so act on the things you will get results this this not only applicable to our personal lives everywhere this is applicable it's personal professional or anywhere in the social things everywhere this is applicable so act upon the things you will get results so now we will be move on to our second session that is impromptu speaking that is table topic session here impromptu speaking is nothing but one topic will be given and we have to speak on the topic on the spot without thinking whatever comes to our mind we have to speak in that time frame so to conduct the table topic session let me invite our toast master jk arora jk arora the virtual stage is yours for the table topics over to you jk arora okay. good morning good afternoon good evening to everyone and uh, today the theme is who acts gets the table topic is so uh, i have i'll give one or two minutes will be given so the first table topic is who are two people in your life that inspire you and why so please so who who is like yeah please go ahead yeah okay so thank you for giving such a wonderful topic and it comes before so that's why i just thought of taking it up uh, yeah so i have first of all taken this because uh, definitely you know uh, whatever in life we want to achieve we are ha having certain goals and based on that goals we want to achieve we are having some uh, role models and uh, those role models for different things can be different so for those two things i will tell uh, that my role model so they are first first person who is there in my life is uh, uh, a person who is always there with me uh, is my wife and i learned from uh, that is one role model for me and uh, which has changed my life uh, like she is a go getter like when she thinks something and she just do it and there are many examples which i found now sometimes it is right or it is wrong uh, which i feel but some but since she is a go getter so she does whatever she thinks so that is the learning which i get from her and the second role model is like to be cool and calm for example my father so uh, he is a person who always whether the situation is too worst or too good he always keep his cool and calm behavior so there are many for for different objectives like for example uh, if if i want to be uh, you know energetic and if on if if you want to walk if i want to walk the talk there is a person uh, who is there uh, with me and I, i will not tell the name that i i always follow that so for different for achieving different goals uh, we are having different role models which makes a different difference in our life and uh, that is the reason i have taken up because i am having yes like this eight different role models eight different people who made changes in my life out of that i mentioned two that is the objective thank you very much thank you so second topic is how important is setting a goals and mission in life 
So who will take? Yeah, Aurora, I request everyone to use word of the day and idiom of the day during your talk. talk. Yeah. Would any of the guests like to try? Okay, I can give it a try here. Yeah. Uh, uh, could you repeat once again the topic? How to achieve yeah, the goal? Right? Yeah. How important is, is setting a goals and mission in life? Okay. Hello, everybody. I think it's uh, really important to have a goal. Otherwise, uh, it will be like uh, we don't know where we are going and we keep going and we try to take up multiple things. Like last year, uh, I had set up a goal uh, that I would want to complete a professional certification like PMP. I was not sure how I'll be able to do it, but I just uh, uh, kept it as my year goal. And uh, luckily, or uh, the efforts went in that direction. And in the, by the month of October, I was able to complete the certification. So unless we have a goal, there will be... Uh, uh, there'll be no way we can achieve it. So even if it is a small one, it's important uh, we set up goals. Uh, it could be in uh, any uh, field. So I uh, recently purchased a journal where she speaks about level 10 goals in every uh, field, like in terms of health, spirituality, um, your career goals. So having goals in different aspects of life uh, help us uh, focus on those things rather than having multiple things uh, to do. Uh, this year, I have set my goal to do, uh, again, a certification in terms of uh, technical certification, CASSP. It is quite a big task, but uh, like last year, I'm thinking that this year also, I'll be able to achieve it uh, if I put my efforts in the right direction. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So next topic is, how has life taught you recently? So who will take it? How has life taught you recently? Okay. So any guest or any those pastor, please. Hi, JK Arora. Can you repeat that? Like maybe it was not. Yeah, how clear. has life taught you recently? Always life taught you recently. Okay, I can go. Yeah, please. Table topic master, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. What life taught me recently? Every time we will be landing into a conflicting situation, be it at work or at the personal life, we need to decide. We'll have a very short span of time and it's up to us to decide what is more important. The same situation I ended recently. I volunteered for a YLP program. As a volunteer, I attended like all the seven sessions. There is last session where we will be conducting as a speech contest. So part of that, it is supposed to be completed by 1 p.m. Whereas my club meeting is at 2 p.m. I was curiously waiting and my endeavors was to complete the meeting on time so that I will not be missing my club meeting. I went an extra mile and went there by 8 a.m. in the morning. In spite of planning everything, we cannot expect everything to be started because it is there with the kids and all the volunteers has to turn up. So we started sometime late at 9.30 and it went in until 2.30. So I have to drop pause at 1.45 and return back to make club meeting because I don't want to miss my first meeting of the year in Jan. And that too, I took the additional responsibility as a VP education and I wanted to provide my roadmap as well to the club. So that was a conflicting situation. After keenly observing this, what I noticed was the same thing happened in my personal life as well. I need to travel back for the Sankranti vacation. But as planned, I could not because we have a release work at office. I have to sum up. In this process, there is also one more thing that happened where ad hoc, I planned the unplanned travel 
though we have to start a week before, I started three days before the festival and even that got fulfilled. To summarize, what I would like to say is life puts us in this conflicting situations and it's, it is up to us to be positive and convert them to our own advantage. In this process, everything will be accomplished. That's what happened. That's what life taught me recently. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Master, Master Chandra. Next topic is, which is worse, failing or never trying? Which is worse, failing or never trying? So who will take it? Can any guest take it? Or maybe because his, I think he raised his hand. So Mr. Vikas, yeah. Yeah, please. Okay. So the topic is, which is worse? Feeling or never trying. Okay. So uh, probably this is uh, the very relevant topic for me for the day. I believe because uh, uh, I had selected to be a, a second speaker in this meeting. So I just wanted to correlate this uh, uh, particular. Uh, topic in this table topic master so because i can say what i can feel uh, at least better that i am attempting uh, this opportunity uh, by using this opportunity that i wanted to uh, try to speak something so rather uh, being in the uh, position of second speaker and deliver my speak so if i would have never tried so probably uh, it indicates that I'm not uh, ready to face any endeavors and I'm not going extra mile. So to take a initiative to become a better version of myself. So it is always good to try and feel motivated and feel uh, better that you are not uh uh you know you are not a, a person so who don't have a endeavor to achieve something so when you try at least you feel better for yourself that you are in the path of being successful so and uh, we will have the uh, zeal to win Either not today, one day for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Vikas. It's good. So next is what you wish to spend more time doing five years ago from now. Hi, can I? Yeah, please. Myself Rahmatullah. Yeah. Myself Rahmatullah. Uh, as I told you, my cousin of my sister Shahid. That can one second, can you repeat the what exactly the topic is? Yeah, what do you wish you spend more time doing five years ago from now? After uh, five years, what? Yeah, see, uh, let me uh, tell, uh, I mean, give you a glance of information about me. Uh, I am a sales consultant for one of the company. See, uh, I wanted to see myself as a uh, as a regional manager. Now I'm a position of a sales consultant. I want to see after five years in the regional manager in the uh, next coming few years, five years or a couple of three years, or it might be tight, it, how much time takes. But my objective is, is clear that I want to be uh, in a position of respective position of area. I'm a regional manager so that I can uh, give my efforts and I can give my express my words and my feelings and everything to, to collaborate my colleagues to join to, uh, I mean, it helped them to uh, to uh, to say that I'm in I'm in a position of in a in a, in a regional manager position. It is all not, not about how how you work, and to it also gives you how what are the your uh, your uh, what are you wanted to achieve in the next few years. It always 
you have to enhance your skills. You have to work out what are the your you you are missing out. What are your drawbacks over here? So where you just wanted to see whether the opportunity is here, and you need to see where how you want to do success in your coming days. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. So last topic. Can you describe your life in a six-word sentence? I'll try that one. Please. Uh, it's my turn to go back to sleep. Yeah, good night. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm thinking of a six-word sentence. I, I still need my 30 seconds. I'm sorry. Yeah, Lisa, go ahead with the table topic. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out a sentence. Yeah, okay. Yeah, please. You got the topic, right, Lisa? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. My six-word sentence was really hard to come up with. How many of you were thinking of your six-word sentence as I was trying to come up with mine? Can you show me your hands? Yeah, I see a few of you. Um, so I found it was really hard. I was trying to think of something. And what I came up with is I can do what I try. So I can do what I try. And I believe that if I try to accomplish something, it's going to be more likely that I accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish than if I don't try to accomplish anything at all. So let me give you an example. I really love the question that came before this about five years now. And when so th let me tell you again, there, there is this great or question in the official Toastmasters. And the question was, well, well, how has Toastmasters helped you professionally or has Toastmasters helped you professionally? So I wrote out how, as of Toastmasters, I had become a and I work at actually in October of 21, and he had 15 questions for me. And then in March of 22, an article came out with three platforms. And so the question was, what will you do in five years? And I said, in five years, I wanna have a specialty club for the kidney community. And as soon as I told that to my district president or district director, he said, let's do it right now. So, I was able to do it because I tried to do it. And in two months, we had chartered a brand new club that's going super strong. Between March and June of the first year, we got distinguished. The second, well, the, the second part of that year, we got presidential. And this year, we already have presidential. So we'll be celebrating our anniversary in March. You're all invited. And we have a fabulous featured speaker lined up. And so that's why I can do when I try. I can do it when I try. That's probably the best. I can do it when I try. So that that's my topic. Thank you so much for that really hard question. I <laughs> encourage all of you to try to put your six word sentence into action. Okay, thank you Toastmaster Lisa. So next I'll I'll, I'll take one more topic or is... yeah, we will go ahead with our meeting. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, the table topic master JK Arora, for your insightful uh, uh, topics. And uh, I appreciate the all the endeavors made by our Toastmasters and our guests. Everyone has went an extra mile to give their best in, in delivering their things. Okay, without, without any further ado, let me hand over the baton to our general evaluator for the further proceedings. So general evaluator, Brunda Shashikumar. The virtual stage is yours now. Uh, today, 
the my role as a general evaluator is quite easy because uh, we didn't have a lot of speeches we had just one speech uh, so let me start by inviting the R counter and the grammarian Toastmaster Chandra for his report. Thank you, Toastmaster Vrunda. Uh, uh, sorry, Chandra, uh, just a moment. Uh, Vrunda, shall we take the speech evaluation from Lisa? Then we'll go for re tag report. Um, uh, yeah, we could do that. And actually, uh, sorry, Shahid, but I thought we have time, like we have half an hour more to go. Mm -hmm. We can even do one or two topics. Mm -hmm. The table no, topics, actually, you were saying? Yes. Evaluations yes. are not yet completed, uh, Vrinda. So what uh, Toastmaster Shahid is suggesting, can we complete yeah, the yeah. evaluations first and go for yeah, tag we have Right, right. So we have one evaluation to go. But before that, uh, I thought that we could take up one or two more topics because we have about 35 minutes more or 30 minutes more to go. So I'll take uh, two more uh, topics. Yeah, I just want more guests to participate because we have a lot of guests here today. So uh, mm. just wanting to try to give more chance to the guest. So to our guest, the next topic is yes. what are you most grateful for? So, this is Paveen Mohammed. Yeah, please. Hi, uh, good morning to all. Can you repeat the question once? Yeah. What are you most grateful for? What are you most grateful? Okay. Grateful to anyone and God, your your parents or uh, your mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, very interesting topic, and uh, I'm gathering, I'm collecting the words. Actually, after so many long, long, I'm uh, speaking in English. Yeah, I, I'm give one minute time. Okay. Maybe Toastmaster Bala again. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm ready. Uh, good morning, all of you. Nice to see you all. And thank you so much for this topic. I'm really feeling very grateful, great. Uh, I'm having my dad with me because I love him so much. I got so many things from him. I like his character very much. I learned a lot of things from him, from his life. He is always supportive. He is always connected with me. I can share the things with him from childhood. And now also it's continuing. When I am struck, I will discuss with him. And he gives the uh, good suggestions, and he is a uh, very uh, nice person, very, very, uh, very good character. He is a helping mind. He, his thought, his thoughts are clear, and uh, he is very supportive. And another thing is, uh, I really very uh, feeling very grateful with my husband, Shahid Sheikh. Really, whatever, I got the things from my dad and he's also very supportive. And uh, he is always uh, giving the freedom what I can do, I can feel, I can share. Anything I will, I will uh, discuss with him. And really, thank you so much, Shahid Ji. And I will appreciate in front of you for, uh, in this platform. And uh, I really hope uh, this will, uh, in our lifelong, you will be like that with me. And I also uh, very much uh, very, uh, feel very grateful with my 
the things we, which I have from my dad and the things which I have from my life partner. It's a very great thing shared in front of you all. And first, most thing, I feel that the very great thing in my life, the Holy Book Quran, this is the first thing. I feel very most great thing in my life. And thank you so much and all of you. Thank you. That's good. Okay, next uh, I'll take uh, guest uh, T.S. T.M. Bala. So where do you find inspiration? Next topic is where do you find inspiration? Ladies and gentlemen, where do I find inspiration? There are many places I find inspiration. The most I find inspiration is in within my family. I have found inspiration with my father. I have found inspiration with my mother and has found inspiration with my spouse, my wife. Why? My father taught me that life means that you have to always work hard. My mother, on the other hand, said it has to be a balance between working hard and also working evenly or working justly. And then my wife, she told me, you should only care about me. Forget about your work life. Why are you bothering about your work life? And I am working for work. I am working, right? I am and I'm earning. But then there has to be a balance in life. It's not that I follow just my father, just my mother, just my wife. I have to have a balance. I have to balance all of them. My inspiration have been all of them. And at last, but not the least, my most best inspiration is my daughter. She taught me that it's okay that you have a father, you have a mother, you have a wife, but you also need to take care of Inspiration can be different for everyone, fellow Toastmasters, but the best inspiration is when you give yourself to others. That's what I feel and that's what I would like to conclude with. Thank you and back to you, Table Topics Master. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bala and everyone who has uh, participated very sportly. So now I will hand over to Toastmaster Shahid. Please. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you, Table Topic Master. And thanks for uh, Runda for extending it based on our time. Yeah, let me hand over again the baton to our general evaluator, Runda Shashikumar. Runda, over to you. Thanks, Shahid. And you know, yeah, you should be lucky and you should give me a treat for hand like you know, extending the time. You know why, and you know you got all the compliments of your life just because of that few minutes. So one who acts. And somebody else has got something else. So <laughs> yeah. that's for fun. And let me invite our DTM, Lisa Thompson, who has been a, such a sport, uh, sporting person, always available at Sathvik, a big-hearted, wonderful woman, for her evaluation for the speech of another enthusiastic Toastmaster, Pratik Agarwal. Over to you, Lisa. Thank you so much, Rhonda. I appreciate it. So Pratik's speech was fabulous and it was exactly what I needed. I've been working so hard in my personal journey not to have what they call ants. So I read this article that said that ants are automatic negative thoughts and they're triggered for me from everything. 
So as soon as anything happens, I'm going to think something negative about it. If they told me that I need to get off of the bus and onto a different bus, I'm going to think, oh, my God, my life is going to fall apart. When, in fact, it was a really good idea that I got off the first bus and onto the second bus and got door to door service. And if they say the bus stops here and I have to fight with them, then again, I'm going to think that there's a problem and not take it like, like critique did as an opportunity. So I thought that the speech was particularly well structured and that the fact that he had not been reading any books and he's now reading books that is fabulous. I should be doing that too. And it was very encouraging to think of ways to change my negative thinking into opportunities. So I, th when I, I, I feel exactly the same way he described that if you, if I have eight blank pages, there's something either the matter with me or with the book, but I, I don't stop to consider it as well. I've got eight blank pages. Now I can, I can write my reflection. So I think that that was so fabulous. And I, I just love the way, the way you structured the speech, the examples that you gave. And it, it was so helpful, you know, in using, in using your personal stories to talk about the simple rules of life and how we can contribute to another person's story and we can, you know, use our, our thoughts, our positivity in order to enhance and celebrate someone else's life. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I, I loved your song. I, I've tried to do a little songwriting myself. Fortunately, I don't sing, but I did have a, a wonderful songwriter that I took a class with and I, I created a song. And you can see our song on my website, um, kidneystories.com. And I just think that that's so wonderful that you were able to put your actions for your feelings into a positive light and show us through your examples how we can do that in ours. Wonderful, wonderful job, Pratik. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. That was so nice of you. And let me now invite our wonderful Toastmaster Chandra, who is our, uh, uh, before I, I think I'm having some trouble here. So I will invite Chandra first. So uh, Chandra is the R counter as well as the grammarian. And after that, I will invite the timer. So let's hear from Chandra first. Thank you, Toastmaster Brinda. First, I'll be presenting my R counter report. Toastmaster Shahid, you have eight Os. Toastmaster Lisa, two Os, one M. And before that, like Shahid, you also have repetition words of VR. And Toastmaster JK Arora, you have five Os. Toastmaster Brinda, four. In the prepared speeches, Toastmaster Pratik, one or one well. Repetition word of mine. In table topics, Toastmaster Pratik, five Aus, one well. Toastmaster Guest Sneha, 11 Aus. Chandra, three Aus, one like, one so. Toastmaster Vikas, three, eight Aus, two so. You used, you know, couple of times. Rahmatullah, six Aus. Lisa, six Aus as table topic speaker. Pavin, you had eight Aus. One Ya. Toastmaster Bala, one Aw. In evaluations, Toastmaster Lisa, one Aw. And you used multiple source, six source. And thrice and was repeated. And one more common pattern which I noticed was many of them have this and and the as the repetition words example and 
and the we are we are dragging that that is one common thing which i noticed with multiple speakers yeah this concludes my our counter report i'll continue with the grammarian report as well firstly thank you everyone for using the word of the day and idiom of the day we had three speakers who used this today toastmaster shahid used word of the day and idiom of the day twice and word of the day thrice toastmaster vikas you used word of the day twice and idiom of the day in coming to not so good usages these are some of the things which i captured one day came and the winter season has came can be one day came and the winter season had come we are re referring this in the past let's start our meeting for that matter could have been let's start our meeting on that matter whatever comes to your mouth you can talk whatever comes to your mind you can organize and talk is one of the suggestion which i can think of i have a small request kind of thing i have a small request a reader lives thousand lives before he dies could have been a reader lives a thousand life lives before he dies we can think in a positive way should have been we can do things in a positive way instead of taking them in a negative way in the path of being successful could have been on the path to being successful and there are good usages as well which i would like to emphasize that includes quotes as well as some of the things which came from speakers a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies i started reflecting we can do things in a positive way instead of taking them in a negative way i'm better than before and one song from anari movie which toastmaster prati quoted kisi ke muskurat pe to his nisar that is one thing which i believe uh, many of them who likes uh, raj kapoor songs definitely will be enjoying that convert the thoughts into opportunities and the opportunities into actions act on things and you will get results she is a go getter cool and calm this is the most relevant for me better version of myself on the path to being successful zeal to win i can do that i can do what i try and again from lisa i can do i can do it when i try hand over the baton i am feeling very great i like his character he is always connected with me thoughts are clear balance between working hard and evenly there has to be a balance in life my life is going to fall apart celebrating someone's life yeah i think with that i conclude my grammarian report as well back to you toastmaster brunda wonderful report toastmaster chandra this is one of the most detailed and thorough reports that i have seen in a really long time truly appreciate your effort uh, with that said uh, now let me invite our timer timer arav saxena for your report sure so good morning good afternoon good evening again i'm back with my report so what's the timing report is like for the speech prepared speeches to toastmaster pratik took 6 minutes 39 seconds from impromptu oh my god we have so many impromptus today toastmaster pratik 1 minute 52 seconds guest neha took 1 minute 20 seconds toastmaster chandra took 2 minutes 25 seconds and toastmaster vikas took 1 minute 55 seconds g guest rahmatullah if i'm pronouncing it correct 1 minute 22 seconds toastmaster yeah. lisa took thank you toastmaster lisa took 2 minute 40 seconds guest pozin took 2 minutes 30 seconds toastmaster bala took 2 minutes 19 seconds speech evaluation toastmaster lisa took 3 minutes 10 seconds and the tag team uh, toastmaster chandra took 4 minutes 22 seconds lastly i want to apologize to toastmaster chandra at this time i was actually noting his time but i was not uh, you know flashing the cards so still he managed to stay on the right track so hats off thank you over to you toastmaster chandra thank you toastmaster arav for your excellent timer report as always and with that 
now as a general evaluator, I will present my report. So I will be in my uh, evaluation as a general evaluator, uh, evaluate right from the start to the end of the meeting, uh, to be talking about the start of the day. Uh, there were some hiccups with the uh, technical, uh, the Zoom link, and that was something that I think we need to fix uh, for the future. And I think we will take care of that. So that was one of the hiccups that we had. Uh, when the SAA started the meeting, it was, uh, as usual, perfectly done. I'm grateful for that. Uh, the theme of the day today, Toastmaster Shahid, wonderful theme. I didn't know it would be, uh, I envisioned something, but I didn't know that the outcome would be so beautiful. It was nicely done. Uh, you actually, like, I have so many tasks on my head right now. I want to do this. I have been thinking about this, but I should be doing this now. So there are a lot of nows that are coming into my head since I've been attending this meeting today. So wonderfully done for that. Shahid, thank you. And what else to say that we had a speaker who spoke about that again. And when he was starting with saying about the number of books he read, I thought he's going to throw a big number. And then, you know, I thought, so I was thinking 200 or has he read 200 books or 200 books or he, uh, when he said two, I thought he's reading two books a week. So that was my, my thinking that he's going there and he surprised me with, you know, when he said he's read this one book and that has changed his life and I am regretting too my like, I don't know how I can express, but I'd seen that book at the bookstore when I was leaving the Mumbai airport. And I didn't pick it up because I was late for my flight. And I so regret it right now. So thank you. I'm definitely going to pick that book. And I'm going to gift it also to others. So I hope it energizes everybody else around me. And thank you, Pratik, for that wonderful topic. Uh, uh, as a general evaluator, I'm supposed to be talking the good and something else that I would love to see. I would want to challenge you, Pratik to keep coming up with more speeches. Whenever you speak, there is something that energizes and changes us, uh, like the whole team. There is a different energy that you bring. So keep coming and keep challenging us. So being a Satvik family, your presence is inevitable and keep coming back every week. We would love to see you. Uh, having said that, moving on to the other uh, uh, important part of this evening today or the morning in India is the table topics. Toastmaster J.K. Arora. Wonderful topics, small topics, but thought-provoking topics. You awakened so many emotions, so many memories, so many reflections. It was really nicely done. The one topic that caught, caught me was the six-word thing, which was tricky. Uh, I because it was DTM Lisa, she came up with something. But otherwise, that was one thing that might put somebody off. But I think the session was wonderfully done. We had an opportunity to even get the guests speaking. So thank you for such thoughtful topics and it was aligned with the theme. So I really loved that. Next, uh, coming to our reports. Uh, DTM Lisa, thank you. As usual, fabulous. And you came up, like you were an impromptu evaluator as uh, Shahid mentioned. So thank you for showing up, for giving a wonderful evaluation to Prati and also talking about the song, which was something new to you, but you still could manage. So thank you for that. Next, I would also like to thank a wonderful R counter and grammarian Toastmaster Chandra I can't say how much I appreciated what you did today. Your R counter report was thorough. Thorough is really in bold and capital. It was thorough. You you brought out all the things and I've said, I need to be like, I really have an R counter police out here. So I need to be watchful for next time. And the same thing with the language. What a fabulous report. And I felt guilty and it would be my endeavor to go this extra mile and make sure I use everything in my next speech. 
whenever I do that. So thank you. It was really nicely done. Coming to our timer. Thank you, uh, Arav. You have always been the timer. I would challenge you to take up some other roles also because he's been a timer very, very often, but most reliable timer at that. So thank you, Arav, for that. And with that, I'm just watchful of the time. And I think we are still having a good, like uh, a spacing is good. One of our endeavors out here in Satvik is to start on time and end on time. So we still have a few minutes. So I think overall we are doing well on the timing. Uh, uh, areas of improvement is probably work on the links. Uh, the agenda needs to be circulated a bit more often. So next time we will keep attention, uh, pay attention to that. Uh, and I think uh, apart from that, we have done a fabulous job of a nicely well-organized meeting. So kudos, Shahid, for that. And back to you. Yeah, thank you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much for your overall report. And definitely, we will act upon the things. We will get our next meetings better with your feedback. So as we have time, so can anyone of the guests can give their feedback, how they feel or how uh, can uh, give their feedback on today's meeting? before proceeding towards the closing notes. Request any guests to give their feedback. Hello, hi. Yeah, Ramtullah. Good morning. Again, I came back. Uh, in the, uh, just now I waited I was when I kept an alarm to, to attend this meeting. I got to know that people who join on time and they're learning more about the English and the professional skills. And I wanted to be a part of this group in the future to enhance my skills and my, to learn more few words for, with something which can, I, like you know, Mr. Chandra, someone has posted in the group, uh, extra mileage. To get an extra mileage, the words, which are uh, which something which inspires us also. Uh, and giving thanks to Mr. Aro, Arora G, I believe, right? and giving the opportunity to speak on giving the words for a, for a uh, two minutes of time, a uh, time was organized by Mr. Uh, Sneha. Saksena, I, I believe. And thank you, Chandraji, for counting the R uh, and pause times. <laughs> and <laughs> and all our English grammar, and as well as Mr. and Mrs. Varuda ji. Vrunda. Vrunda ji, right. I'm sorry, I can't see the screen because my, screen, my internet is running slow. I have some network issue over here, I believe. I believe. Uh, Vrunda ji, for correcting us, for giving your feedback on this. And thank you all, I good to meet you. And soon in next links also. Thank you for giving the opportunity to be interact with you all and to meet you and giving a feedback and learning more things in the future also. Thank you all. Yeah. It's a nice session. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Ramtullah. Thanks for joining in a, such a short notice. He was traveling yesterday. So today morning he woke up and he joined. Thanks for that. Keep joining our meetings. And any other Toastmaster Bala, would you like to give any feedback? Actually, I would not be in a position to give a feedback. I joined late. And firstly, let me thank Toastmaster Vrinda. I truly appreciate. I was kind of sending this message that I'm not that link is not working for me that tiny url link right it was not working for me and i really appreciate that she sent that zoom link which i could join and thankful i'm really thankful to you toastmaster Vrinda, for doing that really appreciate that and i just joined in the i think the end moment of the table topics 
I really wanted to attend that. I did that. Only thing I would say is, when I when, for example, there are there was some glitches in between for me. It was I believe for me, but other than that, everything went well in this meeting. Till the time I joined, till the time I ended it. Looking forward to join this meetings. If it could be in future also, if you don't share the tiny URL thing, if you share the Zoom link, that will be a great thing. That will be only request I have. But uh, apart from that, it was a great meeting. Thank you. And back to you. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Bala. Thanks for your sharing your feedback. And may I call upon Sneha? Could you share your thoughts? Toastmasters name. Yeah. Guest. Yeah. It was a wonderful meeting. Uh, um, I was part of Toastmasters, but I've been out of touch for some time and it was good to join. Uh, I'll maybe attend a few more meetings and maybe enroll also there. Uh, it was very well organized. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a lot of learnings and looking forward to attending more here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We will look for your attendance in the coming meetings as well. Please do join us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keeping an eye on the time as we are heading towards the end of the meeting. So let me move towards the closing notes or just takeaways from today's meeting. So the takeaways, I would say like, uh, no more excuses, no more self-pity, no more comparing with others. It's the time to step up, okay? Take every action, live your own life. Act, act on the things you will definitely get. With this, let me hand over to our president, Runda Shashikumar for the closing remarks. Runda. So thank you, Toastmaster Shahid. And I would like to say thank you to all our guests, Toastmasters and visiting Toastmasters for making this meeting a wonderful and a memorable meeting. Uh, let's all, uh, when we leave this virtual room, let's all have these reflections and a plan of action so that we really take action on whatever it is. And I'm sure whenever I see Pratik, I'm going to remember my action plan. So thank you for this wonderful meeting. We have got a lot of lovely sessions in the upcoming months that are planned. Uh, we have got some education sessions on uh, speech topics or uh, table topics that would be upcoming. So I look forward for everybody to join. We are welcoming new members to our club. So everybody is welcome to join with their friends th themselves. So please join us if you can uh, as members too. We are very much uh, welcoming uh, members as well. So with that, uh, let's close on time. It's 8.30 in India. And with that said, uh, looking forward for all of you to join again. Uh, have a wonderful day or evening ahead of you and take care. Uh, stay healthy. Back, uh, back to you, Shahid, for closing. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, to uh, ending me just, the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just stop the recording and we will just talk. Yes.